Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sean. This is Divine Justice Tarot. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're, and if you're still subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for still holding me down and rocking with me. Okay, and yes, I'm wearing a witch hat today. I figured I would use the law of attraction and attract in early fall because I'm so over summer. I'm ready for Halloween season. So yes, I'm wearing the witch hat. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your weekend messages from Spirit. I'm really kind of excited about this because we have time to let go. Spirit says it's time to let go of a situation and we have surrender now. Spirit wants us to surrender and we have let spirit guide you. So this is really interesting that all three of these came out. I typically only want to grab one, guys, but we got three of these. So this is basically telling us that, you know, it's really time for us to surrender to our circumstances and really surrender to what the divine is pushing us to. Like a lot of us have been unemployed. Um, and I feel that this has happened because you're being pushed to another direction. Now, when I was choosing your tarot cards, there were three that came out. And I really only want one, but we got three. We have the Emperor right here. And we also have the Two of Swords. You can see that. And we have the Page of Wands. Now, this is telling me that this weekend, guys, I feel that you're really coming together with yourself, with the Two of Cups. I feel like you're laying the, if this sounds, I hope this doesn't sound weird, but I feel that you're really being stern with yourself, getting organized with this emperor energy, and you're really coming together with yourself. Because I feel like a lot of um, you have been conflicted with something, and I feel like you're coming together with yourself, and you're really um, embracing this, this new business that you have. It's very new. This new business, this new gift some of you have spiritual gifts you're really nurturing that if that i hope i'm saying that nurture, nurturing that you're really nurturing that and you're really coming together now for some of you you're actually coming together with a fire sign or an aries and i also feel that some of you are actually mending some type of relationship with a father figure that's what i'm getting here for this weekend which is awesome now we also have weight of the world right here, the weight of the world card. And I really feel that some of you have felt really tied down to what's going on around you. And we got another sign. It says boundaries, let, let it go. It's not yours to carry. So we get a lot of let go. Like this weekend, the energy is just to let go, you know, and that's really scary to let go, um, to be the fool and just kind of jump and basically release control. I know for myself, I love control. I'm a Virgo son and I, I really try to control everything, but I really feel that this weekend you guys are really going to be letting go. And spirit says, you know, let go, surrender to the circumstances because what we don't want is the tower. Now, when we resist what we're being called to do, we end up getting the tower and the tower, oh, it brings change, but it brings chaotic energy at times. So we really don't want that. So spirit is saying, let go. And I love this coming together that you're doing. Um, I feel that you're really buckling down and getting things done. Now we have peace. I feel like this weekend is a time for peace. It says be peace. I see a lot of peace right here going on this weekend. And I also feel, which is beautiful, you guys. This says everyone is doing your best. I feel that this weekend you all realize that in a situation, you're not really being, dis you're not letting yourself get disappointed by people anymore because you're realizing people are only doing their best. You know, people are people, people are trying, um, you're letting go of high expectations or just expectations of people and just being this weekend. And I feel like since you're doing that, we have spiritual growth here. A lot of spiritual growth. A lot of you have done a lot of shadow work and you are growing spiritually. Now, <sighs> This is interesting. I like to read with music. And one of your music cards, we got Fleet Mac Gypsy. I love this song. And I wrote a little note here. It says, your path is different. 
get back to who you really are. So it's time to get back to who you really are. It's time to embrace who you are. And yes, I like to wear witch hatches and I do strange things, but this is who I am. And I really feel that you need to really embrace that this weekend spirit saying and not let outside outside influences tell you otherwise you know some people if you're a fellow tarot card reader you might have family members telling you that it's demonic and all this other stuff but it's not demonic i mean anything can be used for good and evil as long as you're doing it for the best um you're you have great intentions you're going to be fine with this you're going to be fine my path is tarot but i've had some people in my family think oh well you know she's evil i'm not evil at all i'm far from it baby <laughs> so you know basically what i'm saying is you know your path is di different spirit says a lot of you your path is different and it's time for you to embrace that because we want to avoid the tower okay we want to avoid the tower live be you now we also have the message here sometimes the good is hidden sometimes the good is hidden so if you're in a situation where you're not really seeing very much good I would say in my advice, because I've been there, try to find try to find something that you're grateful for. Because this is going to help you get more out of a situation. Because really, like it said right here, sometimes the good is hidden. You don't see it right now. It's it's hidden. So really focus on what you have and being grateful for what you have right here. Now, we also have karma is on your side this weekend. Karma is on your side. So I pulled some clarifiers to see what it's talking about, what kind of karma. Because there's good karma and there's bad karma. But this is this means good. This means good. So we got the serving others, the, the Virgo card right here. And then we also got your desires in the first house. And then we have Mercury. So I really feel that for some of you this weekend, you're going to get some type of communication that's coming in. Some type of um, communication that you've been waiting for. An email, a phone call or something. Something that you wait, you've wait, you been waiting for and it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. With the Mercury. Now, um, your desires too. That's the same thing that I said. With the Karma, we got your, your desires right here. So I really feel that... For a lot of you, you've been trying to manifest something. So you're going to actually start seeing a breakthrough this weekend with something. You're going to start seeing the light with something. It's coming in. It's coming in fruition if this make, is making any sense. And then Virgo. Now, this is funny because at the top here, it says serving others. Virgos like to serve others. So I really feel that for some of you, you've done a lot of work for other people. Um, you may be a caregiver. By trade, I am actually a nurse. Um... And I really feel that the universe is, rec the nurse, the, the, you know, I'm stuttering. The universe recognizes what you've done for other people. Um, you may have done some charity work or you've helped someone out in a time of need. And you're getting some good karma this weekend for that. So Spirit wants you to know that. Karma is on your side. Now, we also got the other song right here. Nicki Minaj's Win Again right here. And I love what I wrote right here. I said... I put, I came here looking to party. Now I'm owning that building. Hey, I like that. So what that's basically telling me is some of you are basically, how do I say this? Some of you took some type of hit and it felt like you were on a losing spree, but spirit is saying you're about to win again. You're going to be on top and you're going to be better than ever. Okay. So I believe that you're going to be better than ever. And we have finances right here. So this is linked to your finances. There's going to be some type of financial change this weekend for some people, um, if not this weekend coming up. And it's going to be a blessing because I did some clarifications because sometimes it's changes in your finances cannot be good. But this is a good thing, okay? Because we have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so that's definitely good. We got the Ten, ten of Cups, Ten of Cups upright right here. So... There's going to be something, like I said, with communication that's going to make you very happy. Very, very happy. And then we also have the King of Swords right here. So this is basically telling me that some of you are going to be blessed with some type of message via online or you're doing some type of online business. It's going to be, it's going to become very successful. Something to do with communication, of course, but 
for a lot of you, I'm feeling like some, something to do with your what you're doing online. Maybe you have a YouTube channel or something and you're going to get some good feedback. You're going to get some increase. Maybe you're going to get monetized. You're going to start getting paid for YouTube. I don't know, but something, something is coming through for you. Now, let me take a sip of my tea real quick. <clears throat> Sorry. Don't you like my hat? I think it's so cute. I love this hat. Anyway, <laughs> now, Spirit also says it's time for you to do some self-care. Now, some of you may have been feeling really tired and fatigued, I'm getting. Um, I'm like talking a mile a minute. I feel like I am. So I feel that if, I feel that some of you have been just running, going, just running around in circles, not literally running around in circles, but running around with your chicken head. I said chicken head, like your head cut off like a chicken. Is that the, that's the term, right? I feel like you need to slow down and really take care of yourself. You may have been taking care of so many people and spirit says it's this weekend. It's okay. Take care of yourself because you can't take care of others if you don't take care of yourself. Now we're going to look into love this weekend. It's interesting because we have embrace love right here and I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says make space for another it says make space for another and accept the connection for what it is. Embrace the new opportunities and blessings around you. Open your heart to accept and receive more love through embracing vulnerability. You will find strength. So guys, I feel that this is actually linked to this other music card that I pulled for you. The Kylie Yuchi's you Dead to Me. You can look it up on YouTube, this song. I feel that some of you are actually ending a relationship or have ended a relationship with someone. Someone's dead to you. Someone's dead to you or will be dead to you. Um, and I feel that this is actually bringing in room for... This card right here, which says this could be the one, a soulmate connection. Um, I feel like a lot of you this weekend are accepting the ending of a relationship. And spirit is telling you to open yourself up to new possibilities. You know, of course, heal and everything. But I feel like you, some of you, I feel like for a lot of you, this has already happened. And someone else is coming along, spirit is saying. Now, I also... This is interesting because we have let friends help you too. So, and we also got new additions, new, new addition, can you stand the rain? So I feel like a lot of you have had a lot of hard time, but I really feel like this because I read intuitively. I really feel that you guys have a lot of friends. Like um, you have a strong support system and you really, you really need to let the people help you. That's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like you really need to let other people help you because um, you have a strong support system. Um, and I feel that maybe some of you have had a hard breakup and Spirit is saying, you know, you, can, you have friends that you can go out with, you know, get around your friends. But also I'm just feeling that a lot of you have had a lot on your plate and this isn't really linked to love from what I'm getting. And it's saying, you know, let, let friends help you. You know, you don't have to do everything on your own. That's what I'm getting right there. So, and also we have one affirmation. I like this one. It says, my business is overflowing with opportunities. This is our affirmation for this weekend, guys. So we're gonna say to ourselves, okay? My business is overflowing with opportunities. Let's say this again. My business is overflowing with opportunities. Speak that in existence. Okay, guys? All right, that's all I have for you. If you like this reading, hit a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you really like it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.